Hi, everyone, welcome to my channel again. Today, I am going to share about how to plot fitted line plot using Minitab. Before watching, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. What is a fitted line plot? Use fitted line plot to display the relationship between one continuous predictor and a response. You can fit a linear, quadratic, or cubic model to the data. A fitted line plot shows a scatter plot of the data with a regression line representing the regression equation. Let's take a look at an example using Minitab. The number of pounds of steam used per month at a plant is thought to be related to the average monthly ambient temperature. The past year's usages and temperatures are as follows. Plot the scatter plot and fitted line plot. How does the matrix plot differ from scatter plot? Use scatter plot to investigate the relationship between a pair of continuous variables. A scatter plot displays ordered pairs of x and y variables in a coordinate plane. For example, a researcher creates a scatter plot to study the relationship between percentage of ingredient and sales volume. On the other hand, use matrix plot to assess the relationships between several pairs of variables at once. For example, a business analyst creates matrix plots to explore the relationships between several predictor variables. The plot shows every combination of sales and order against cost. Choose graph, scatter plot. Choose simple, then click OK. Under Y variables, enter usage per 1000. Under X variables, enter temperature. The scatter plot shows a positive relationship with linear correlation. A scatter plot is a type of data visualization that shows the relationship between different variables. Essentially, each of these data points looks, scattered, around the graph, giving this type of data visualization its name. Scatter diagrams for regression analysis are constructed with the independent variable X on the horizontal axis and the dependent variable Y on the vertical axis. The scatter diagram enables us to observe the data graphically and to draw preliminary conclusions about the possible relationship between the variables. Choose stat, regression, fitted line plot. In response, enter usage per 1000. In predictor, enter temperature. Under type of regression model, select linear. Click graphs. Under residual plots, select 4 in 1. Click OK. Click options. Under display options, select display confidence interval and display prediction interval. Click OK in each dialog. P-value. Because the p-value is less than the significance level of 0.05, we can conclude that the association between temperature and usage per 1000 is statistically significant. The coefficient of determination, r squared, is the square of the correlation coefficient r. Gives the proportion of total variability of the y-values that can be accounted for by the independent variable x. For example, R squared is 99.99% indicates that 99% of the variability in the usage per 1000 can be explained by the equation model. Adjusted R squared. R squared always increases when you add a predictor to the model, even when there is no real improvement to the model. Adjusted R squared shows whether adding additional predictors improve a regression model or not. The fitted line plot displays the response and predictor data. The plot includes the regression line, which represents the regression equation. You can also choose to display the 95% confidence and prediction intervals on the plot. The confidence interval for the fit provides a range of likely values for the mean response given the specified settings of the predictors. The prediction interval is a range that is likely to contain a single future response for a value of the predictor variable. What is the residual plot? A residual plot is a graph that is used to examine the goodness of fit in regression in ANOVA. Examining residual plots helps you determine whether the ordinary least squares assumptions are being met. If these assumptions are satisfied, then ordinary least squares regression will produce unbiased coefficient estimates with the minimum variance. What is residual? 
For any specific observation, the actual value of y can deviate from the predicted value. The deviations between the actual and predicted values are called errors, or residuals. To confirm that the analysis is valid, verify all assumptions about the model error term. Use residual plots to check that the errors have the following characteristics. Normally distributed. Constant variance for all fitted values. Random and independent over time. Use the histogram of residuals to determine whether the data are skewed or whether outliers exist in the data. Use the normal plot of residuals to verify the assumption that the residuals are normally distributed. Use the residuals versus fits plot to verify the assumption that the residuals have a constant variance. Use the residuals versus order plot to verify the assumption that the residuals are random and independent over time. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you next time.